It's not how you start, it's how you finish. This is a quote my dad has said to me ever since I was a child, and it's something that I didn't truly understand until a little bit ago. <laughs> so, when I was in grade school and middle school, I was drastically overweight. If anybody played CYO football, they know that if you were over a certain amount of pounds, you had a dot on your helmet, which means you could not carry the ball. So I was basically offensive and defensive line for my fifth and sixth grade year. After that, I realized I did not like being this, this heavy. So uh, I wanted to be able to compete with my brother in sports. I wanted to outrun him. I wanted to be able to hit a double with baseball and not almost die. Um, <laughs> um, and so one day, my dad was doing P90X. I would imagine everybody knows what P90X is. If not, it's a workout program, very intense workout program. Uh, he was doing that one day and I just decided to join him. So that's where the story begins. And through the story about what workouts we did, my journey through them, and how it affected me, I hope I can motivate at least one of you today uh, to better yourself any way that you can. So before explaining my journey through it, I should explain how it's formulated. Uh, there are five groups, in this specific workout that I did, there are five groups of workouts. Within each workout is four different exercises. And you would do 30 seconds for the first three and one minute for the, uh, the last one. You would get no breaks in between. And so um, this would last two sets. We would do two sets and then go to the next group. And this would last about 25 minutes uh, without any breaks. With breaks, it was probably about 35, 40 minutes. Um, and so like some examples would be like split squat jumps. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's where you're basically, I'll demonstrate all this for you. You're basically in a lunge and you jump up and you switch. You do that for 30 seconds continuously. Then after that, you go into a straight squat jump, squat down, jump up, 30 seconds continuously. Then jump knee tucks. I'm not gonna do that one because I will look like an idiot doing that. <laughs> jump up and you bring your knees to your stomach and jump back down, that's 30 seconds. And then skater hops for a minute after that, which are basically just hopping, jumping side to side. It sounds really hard, and it is really hard. It was the first time I ever did it, I got about halfway through the whole workout, and that was with a mixture of uh, working out for one minute and then resting for like one or two minutes. <laughs> uh, I wanted to quit so bad. But uh, I went upstairs to get water, uh, and I saw my mom, and she was smiling. She was really proud of me because she saw I was trying to get in shape, and after that, I, I couldn't stop. My legs the next day felt like jello. I got out of bed, my legs just said no that day. <laughs> I could not could barely walk up any stairs, but I still wanted to because I went, didn't want to disappoint my mom at all. Uh, so as we started, as we kept going, I started progressively getting better and better until one day I actually finished. And uh, that was the most accomplishing feeling I've ever had in my life. I, my body was changing, I was down. 20 pounds at that point, I think, and I was headed in the right direction. Um, but more importantly, I feel like I had a stronger bond with my dad because of this. You know, uh, now we can, even with it being years removed of doing this, I could tell, I could tell him a joke about how the trainer, who's the most in shape person I've ever seen in my life, he'll talk through the whole workout like it's nothing, he won't even sweat. We would uh, joke about how his voice would always crack when uh, he would say, fun's over. So it'd be, we'd be in the middle of a workout doing <laughs> skater hops, and he'd be like, fun's over. <laughs> we would, I, all I have to say is that, and he would probably cry right now. <laughs> um, so uh, because of this, I was able to compete with my brothers uh, in sports. I still can't, cannot outrun my brother, but I'm pretty close to it. I can run to second. Uh, without <laughs> passing out now, so that's really good. I actually switched positions in football because of this. Uh, I no longer received the dot my 7th and 8th grade year, and I was able to play tight end, uh, I played defensive back, and a little bit of running back. And that was awesome for me, because I loved handling football. Like, I loved running football. Uh, in baseball, actually, I improved. Uh, I gained a lot of range. I, I'm in the infield, so ground balls came to me, I improved a lot of range. I uh, also gained velocity from it. 
uh, which helped. But uh, I think the most important thing would be uh, how it affected me mentally. I gained a lot more confidence, a lot more self-esteem. Uh, I did better in school, actually, because of it, and I was more social. But uh, the most important thing mentally, though, was that I was proud to look at myself in the mirror. Not because of all the weight that I lost, but because I had the self-discipline to put myself through something that I didn't want to do to see results that I wanted. So in essence, uh, I hope my story about P90X and what I went through uh, <laughs> motivates at least one of you today to do something uh, to better yourself in any way. And uh, if it ever gets hard, just remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. All right.